everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Shawnee and we are Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. Today we'll be participating in the challenge Minis, which is hosted by Corey of Crafted by Corey. And I am so excited to get started here. We have three minis we're going to do today. And the first one is we're going to do a mini spike gnome. Okay, and what this is going to be for, you will be able to stick this in a vase with flowers or um, in a plant. Anything you want to stick this into, you'll be able to do um, because of the fact that it's going to be like a little spike. And we're going to make a St. Patrick's gnome. Okay, so let's get started. And it's very simple. This is the end of a gallon, a five gallon, excuse me, paint stir stick. And I've just cut it off. And this is a dowel from the Dollar Tree. And all I'm going to do with this is simply run a bead of glue right here. And I'm going to place our dowel like so. Okay. Just like that. And for added extra security, I'm just going to run a bead right across here. There we go. Now we're going to let this set and dry, and all you'll really need is I picked this little hat up at the Dollar Tree, okay, and these came from another St. Patrick's um, display that I have, and I'm going to glue these right to the side of the hat just for some little added extra oomph. So I'm going to glue those right there to the side of our little hat. Okay, just like so. And we'll put the white one on the outside for a little bit of draw our eye away from some color there. There we go. There we go. Just like that. Glue strings. Okay, now what we're going to do next is for the nose, I've just taken a styrofoam ball, a medium sized one, and I've painted it with the color Mineral from Waverly Chalk Paint, and I'm letting that dry right now. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add our beard. Okay, we want to add our hat first. Let's get our hat on here. Now these fit really snug, so they come down and just perfectly, just like so. I think that's really, really cute. Okay, just like that. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to put our nose on. Just want to add a little bit of hot glue using my Sure Bonder here. All right, and we want to go just like this, right under the hat, right there. Okay, stick our nose on. Now, we're going to want to put a niche in our faux fur to go up around the nose of our little stick gnome. So what we're going to want to do here is we want to make that niche. Now when we're doing this, we want to try not to get the fur in there because that makes for a pretty, pretty big mess. So we're going to go just like this, cut this niche out so it will go up and around our little nose. Okay, just like that. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead, cut right across here. We just don't want that fur involved if we don't have to have it in there. All right, just like that. Okay, and so there we have it. Now we're just going to go up around our nose, like so. We can even take our hat off for a second here. Just get this up around our nose like that. And I'm going to hot glue this up here. Just a couple dabs. Just like that. Put our hat back on. And there you have it, a cute little St. Patrick's spike to stick in your plants.
in a vase of flowers or in any St. Patrick's decor. And there we go. I think he turned out so cute. Okay, moving on. Mini number two, what we have here is we have our little, I picked this up at the VOA um, in a neighboring town, and I just thought it was so cute, just as is, for a little spring basket. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of styrofoam that I have here, and we're going to glue it just with some hot glue to the bottom of our basket. Just like this. Take all the glue right like that. Okay. And I have some um, lavender here as well as I have, I don't know what these are called, just some florals that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and I think they're adorable. And we're simply going to arrange it just like this. And there we have it. I think that is simply adorable. That is so cute. Just to set on any table or any decor for spring. Okay, moving on. And for mini project number three, we're going to be taking, I purchased some die cuts, wooden die cuts, and they were in this box. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking those die cuts and um, we're going to, excuse me, we're going to be taking these little bottles that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and we're going to be filling them with some spring glitter colors. Okay, just like so. And I like this natural wood and it's real farmhousey, so I'm going to keep it just like this. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill up our little bottles with some of the colors, and I'm only using five of the bottles. So we're just going to fill them like halfway, like that. Okay, and I am going to dab a little bit of hot glue on these corks as they tend to be loose. So I am going to dab just a little bit of hot glue on them just like that. Okay. Just going to go ahead and fill these up. I'm going to do a couple in the purple. And they all don't have to be the same either. The same amount in the bottles. You can kind of differentiate them a little bit. That will give it some interest. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to put a light blue in. Just like this. And I'm also going to add a green, and I'll probably be doing two of the greens, so I'll be right back. And now that we have our little bottles filled with glitter, what we're going to do is I'm going to take and dab just a little bit of hot glue right here in the center of our case, and just put it right in there just like so. And what we're going to do with these is we're going to run these like an X. Okay, so I'm going to put another little dab up here just like this. I just think this would make the cutest little farmhouse decor. And you can put a little jute twine on the back for a hanger, which I'm going to do. And then we want our blue up here. Okay, just like so. This is so cute. I really, really like this. The sunlight is coming in that window, and it's kind of putting a glare on our film. There we go. Okay, so we're going to run this one here, and we'll put the other purple one down there. All right, just like so. Okay. I'm not used to sunshine. It's usually, uh, we've had a... Uh, quite the winter. All right, excuse my dog there. 
All right, and here we go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make a little bow for the top. How we're going to make our little bow is I have some jute string here. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to run it over my fingers a couple times about mm, let's do two fingers for this project just a few times. Then I simply let it go. I scrunch it in the middle, bring this part down and I just wrap it around just like that. It makes a really cute little bow. We're going to cut off the bottom. Dab a hot glue. All right, we're going to run that right over here like so. There we go. All right, that is so cute. And there we go. And don't forget to head on over to Corey's channel, Crafted by Corey, and check out her content. She has the cutest content. I just love to watch her channel. She's so talented. So go check her out after you're finished here. And I want to thank everyone for joining me today. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Hit that notification bell right next to the subscription button and you will be notified each time I upload new content. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have the link to Corey's channel as well as a link to the playlist right in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed today's minis. Have a great weekend. Bye.